For the last two years, Helena Public Schools teachers have been hard at work supporting students through the COVID-19 pandemic. But the district has also made an investment in support for the teachers themselves. I like to say that I, I get to help teachers teach. Christy Mock Stutz is an instructional coach at Helena Middle School, one of 19 now working in the district. I really view my role as side by side, working with teachers, helping support them with resources, um, helping support them with um, ideas, help with planning, help with analyzing data, that sort of thing. On Wednesday, she met with 7th grade English teacher Roxanne Shockley to look at some data on student progress. We generally meet every couple of weeks Absolutely. And, and talk about data or uh -huh. talk about something like that or, or try to problem solve like something. We, we nerd out about yeah, data, it's more do. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> the Helena School District first introduced instructional coaches in some of its schools about four years ago as part of a literacy grant. One of the first to use them was Central School. Principal Nick Radley says it's valuable to have someone thinking about instruction on a school-wide level. The biggest bang for the buck comes from what our teachers are providing with our kids and the most support we can give in those areas, the better off we all are. District leaders say during the pandemic, instructional coaches played important roles in planning the curriculum for remote and hybrid learning. This year, they committed to putting a coach in every school, and they say that support has been a key tool in addressing the ongoing academic and social gaps that COVID has made worse. We're on track to meet the goals for the end of the year, even though they seemed like they were really high at the beginning. Um, it's that light at the end of the tunnel, like, oh my gosh, this is working. The district says the instructional coach positions were funded through a Montana literacy grant, federal Title I funds, and federal COVID relief money. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.